So looking at finding the intersections, um, let's go through that process. So we can use our calculator to find the intersections. If you're doing the algebra, you can also write simultaneous equations to solve. But if we try to find the intersection of A and B, that's where line A and line B are going to cross. So that's right here. And you can tell, I can't exactly read that off the graph. I know it's somewhere around 3 and 13, but I don't know exactly what it is. So I need to use my calculator um, to figure out what that is. Again, for you guys doing your algebra, you could be able to write the simultaneous equations and solve it, but that's for another video. So, if I'm going to find my intersections, I need to go, I'm trying to figure out where to write this, um, for your intersections, you need to go into graph, G-solve, and then it's the ISCT button. So, in graph, so menu, get to graph, I'm going to enter in my two rules. So for line A and line B, I'm going to have 4x plus 1, and for the second one, negative 0.5x plus 15, enter, draw it. And remember with G-Solve, you have to be able to see it. So right now you can tell I can't see where those two lines cross. A couple of ways to do deal with it, but I could just arrow up until I can see that intersection. Hit G-Solve. And there's the ISCT for intersection point. And that's going to be my intersection. Again, it gives it to me as a point. So here I see that's 3.111 for X and 13.44 for Y. So if I'm going to write out my intersection, between A and B, it's going to be at the point, and I want to write it as a point x comma y, 3.11 rounding, comma, 13.44 again rounding. So don't forget to put it as a point x comma y. Now the second intersection I want was between A and C. That was this guy here, between A and C. And I can't even see where that is on the graph, but I imagine that the C line would continue up, and the B line would continue on, and I'd get an intersection point. So let's see if we can find that using the calculator. Exit back. I'm going to leave the 4x plus 1, because that's equation A, but I'll replace this one with equation C. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 10, draw it up. And again, I want to make sure I can see these things. Oh, actually, I have two intersections here, and I'm paying attention to the wrong point. Sorry about that. I'm looking for the intersection between A and C. This is the intersection between B and C. I'm looking for A and C. That's this one over here, between line A and line C. And we've probably already been able to find that one, because it is exactly on 1, 5. But let's just double check what it is here. So there I can see it. There's the intersection. So G solve intersection and it is 1 comma 5. So I would want to write for A and C my intersection point is at 1 comma 5.